Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a quiz in Google Forms that will send students to watch a video if they answer a question incorrectly. This is a great way to create review activities for your students' self-paced review activities. So let's take a look at my sample form I've already created here, it's just a title and student name. Let's go ahead and ask our students a simple question to get them started with this little review quiz. So we'll say, who won the American Revolutionary War? We'll make this multiple choice and we'll say British, the Americans, or the French. Now what we're going to do is create a new section of this quiz. Let's say add section here. And this first section will be just called incorrect. And we'll say watch the video and try again. And now I'm going to put a video in here. And we'll call it click add video and we can do a search for a YouTube video here. If you've previously found a YouTube video, you can just paste in the link. I'm going to do a search here for Crash Course American Revolution. And there's the video that we're going to use. And I can click on the video and drag the corners to make it a little bit larger. You'll also notice this little three dot menu here that I can use to align my video. Now let's add a question below it. Let's say add question. Who won the American Revolution? And this time we'll just give them two choices. The British or the Americans. Now I'm going to add another section here for the students who answered correctly to that first question. Let's just call it correct. Now please answer the rest of the questions. And we can add a series of questions below this. They could be multiple choice, they could be true false, they could be short answer. And I'll make that one a short answer. And you can add as many questions as you like to this section. Now, we need to go back to the top here and set up this question so that when students answer it, they're sent to the appropriate section of the quiz. So let's go in and edit this question. And we'll select go to section based on answer. And if they answer British, we'll have them go to section two, incorrect. The answer Americans will say correct and go on to section three. And if the answer incorrect, we'll tell them nope, go watch this video. Okay. And now down below this question here, okay, they're going to go on to the next section. Okay. So after section two, if they answer correctly, we'll go on to the next section. But we can also edit this question. And we can say again, go to section based on answer. And if they answer incorrectly again, we can keep them in a loop here to continue to watch this video and attempt this question until they get it right. So now let's take a look at how this would appear to the student. So click on the preview button. Let's say a student comes along and answers this, puts in his name, answers British, and he lands on the incorrect section. And he's told to watch the video and try again. He watches the video by hitting the play button there. Hi. Watches the video, clicks Americans, and now he can go on and answer this last question of Washington. Now it's important to note that you can repeat this process as many times as you like throughout your quiz. You can have 15 sections to your quiz if you wanted to. It just takes a little bit of planning.
to think about where you're going to send students based on their answers. So that's how you can create a bit of a self-paced review with video feedback for students using Google Forms. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.